What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing part 8 of Your Joking, but no time for introductions here. Just go follow this path. Uh, you want to get out of the map by going up here. You want to keep your nose up and boost as you drag your stomach along the top of that. You don't want to boost right away. You want to take it just at a normal speed until you get to the top. And then drag your stomach across the top of that uh, structure. And boost while you do that. And then once you clear that, boost down and to the right to get out of that kill zone and you are out of the map this makes it much easier to get through this first section and much quicker so just follow this path I sped this part up because it's pretty straightforward go where that kind of spine is running along the bottom of the tunnel and stay pretty close to it I don't think there's any physics to that spine so you can't crash and die at least at the way bottom of that if you do run into it I don't think you'll die but just try not to hit it, but try to get pretty close to it, and you will spawn the next part of this tunnel. And then just follow this path, just basically cut across to the end of the tunnel, or the end so far, until you spawn more, which you're about to do right here. Fly to the left of that pillar, and kind of stay towards that other pillar to the left, and it will freeze for a second. And that's a good sign, that means you've spawned the next part of the trench. Follow this path to this part of the trench. And we're going to fly under the spine again, uh, like we did in that first area where we spawned more tunnel. And that will actually spawn the last section and despawn the uh, tunnel previous to this. So you can see it's despawned. You want to go over here. And I slowed it down again. Well, this is normal speed, not slowed. And just fly through here. This is a way to get back into the tunnel. You can't get back into the tunnel until you despawn uh, the previous parts of the tunnel. This is one of the few ways that you can get back in the tunnel. It's the easiest way to show and explain and perform. So I figure I would just show you that way. There are slightly quicker ways, but again, we don't need to do that. All the guns and everything have been dis-spawned or despawned, disabled, despawned. Except for that door. The only thing that's animated is that door closing in. So you have to get under that before it shuts on you. And now we're at the last part of Rally Point Alpha. You know what to do here. Just blow up this thing in the center. And then there's four uh, reddish, orangish balls of light on the perimeter of this section. And you just blow up those four. And you are done with this part. This is the final installment. Now that I'm done talking for a little bit. Of... The Your Joking Achievement, which is to complete all of Halo 4's campaign on Legendary in under three hours. So, we've done all the levels, except for this one. This is the last one. You could actually do all these out of order, and you could actually do uh, them on co-op if you'd like, if that makes it easier for you, which, it, I mean, it does. Um, so, if you're having trouble solo, you could do it co-op. I flew past a couple of these balls of light without taking them out, because I'm an idiot. Um, but don't do that. Try to take them out as fast as possible. Uh, another thing to note here is I have the cowbell skull on for no particular reason, but I do also have the catch skull on, which is something you'll want to use. It makes this whole level a lot easier. You could actually put on any skull you want for the speedrun achievement in Halo 4. Halo 1 and 2, you can't use some skulls because they're beneficial, like Bandana, which gives you infinite ammo, or Scarab, which gives you... Uh, well, every gun is just a Scarab gun. So, those... Those skulls you can't really use without negating the times, but you could use catch. So we're using catch here, and the reason we're doing that is so the knights throw grenades at us rather than shoot us, for the most part. So you can see I shot that first watcher with the saw and that fourth watcher with the saw. And now we're running into this section. You can see here the knights are pretty much just going to throw grenades at me due to the catch skull. Uh, this makes them throw more grenades... They are grenade happy. They can't get enough of those grenades. So, or they feel that I can't get enough of the grenades, so they keep throwing them at me. So you can see them right there. All of them are just throwing grenades at me. The only thing that's really shooting at me from behind is the watchers. That's the only thing giving me issues. But just sprint through this whole section. You could actually go by all of the knights because they're not going to shoot at you. Mostly. They'll probably fire a shot or two. But, you know, for the most part, you're clear. Grab a light rifle, so at this point you have a light rifle and a battle rifle. And do this whole thing where you put Cortana into the pedestal again. There you go, Cortana. Do your thing. 
so that uh, in the beginning, when I got outside of the map during the trench run, you don't have to do that. It makes it quicker, obviously, but it's an optional thing. Um, if you're having too much trouble with it and you've saved enough time on other levels, you could just skip it if you want. Obviously, that's the case with any trick that I show you here. Uh, if you save enough time in other ways, you don't have to do all the tricks, obviously. I make it in way under three hours, so you could obviously pick and choose where you want to do tricks and where you want to just kind of shoot it out as you would normally if you find some of the tricks too difficult or time-consuming to pull off. So you can see here, follow that path. You don't want to take that last turn to go up to the ramp to the portal too tightly because if you do, then the uh, the portal doesn't spawn right away, which is a problem because you need to get through there or else you're going to get killed by a bunch of knights. At this point, you want to exchange your BR for a incineration cannon and fill it up. You should be able to hold six shots at once. Assassinate this guy. And we have a light rifle as well. Should be full. And follow this path. It should be pretty safe, especially with the catch skull on. And you can see I'm doing the infinite sprint glitch, which is just sprint and then every little bit just jump and smack. And that, in effect, gives you infinite sprint. Wait for this guy to spawn and immediately shoot an incineration cannon at him. This guy has a beam rifle, or not a beam rifle, a binary rifle, so he could shoot you and kill you pretty quickly if you are not on top of him right away. So at this point, we're just taking our light rifle and we got to hold out here, unfortunately. We can't really speed this up other than killing the crawlers as fast as we can. There's a bunch of crawlers coming at us from down here, so I'm just going to focus over here for a little bit with my light rifle. There's more light rifle ammo behind me, if you end up needing any, which you probably will. I end up going back there a couple times. Um, the infinite sprint glitch, it works by you hit sprint, and obviously that starts you off sprinting. And then you jump and hit B. Jumping makes you in the air, basically. And meleeing uh, negates your sprint. So, right when you smack, you stop using Sprint, and it starts recharging immediately. However, since you are in the air, you still maintain the velocity as if you were still sprinting. So, that is awesome. So, in effect, you do have infinite Sprint. You will just continue traveling at the speed at which you left the ground, even though you are no longer sprinting, and your Sprint is actually filling back up again. So, once you hit the ground again, you can hit Sprint again to continue your pace your sprint speed. So at this point, Cortana is taking control of the turrets, and you can see all of these crawlers crawling down these two pillars. They kind of, there's kind of like two buckets, uh, barrels, if you will, on the top of those uh, pillars. They're like a barrel of monkeys, except for they're crawlers. And uh, just shoot them as they come out. There's also people coming down in here, which uh, they were originally coming from. Just keep an eye out. The safer way to do this is just to go back to the side of the room where you came from. And you can just hide over there. That's more of a lazo tactic because uh, it's much more safe. Obviously, we want to kill these people as quickly as possible, though. So, we are kind of in the more risky area, but I mean, still, it's not too bad. Just headshot. All of them crawlers. Obviously, zooming in with a light rifle, you only shoot one bullet, one big bullet, while if you are not zoomed, it shoots three bullets um, that are less powerful, but still, all three would headshot any crawler. So it's kind of like a BR if it's unzoomed, and it's kind of like a carbine if it's zoomed or DMR. So you can see I grabbed more ammo, and I'm running down here. Waiting for them all to gather in that area, and then I incineration cannon them. And I'm just going to run by here. There is a way to, like, launch yourself with a gravity hammer across here, but I like, I really like having the incineration cannon for this upcoming section. So I decide to stick with that. How do we get over there? So go over here. We're at the last section now. Don't jump at this point. There's zero Gs, so there's no benefit to jumping at all. I skipped that part because it's just us floating across the giant gap for like 30, 40 seconds. Uh, go through here. If you don't have an auto sentry at this point, you could grab one on the left behind me. Um, 
I don't use it that much, but it is, I think, the most helpful thing to have. So grab it. I will use it once or twice, but it's not crucial to have or anything if you wind up not having one. Put Cortana in this pedestal, and then we're going to go to the right after she splits into a bunch of Cortanas. And here we go. I normally go to the left, but, you know, strategically, I'll go to the right. I used to go to the left all the time, though. But just jump over here. And take out the crawlers. There's a watcher that's going to spawn more crawlers right there. You can see he's beaming the ground or doing whatever he's doing. Take that guy out. And then take all the crawlers out. We're actually going to grenade jump up to the top. You'll notice I have not used any frag grenades because I'm saving them for this little jump. I was going to say trick, but it's not really a trick. Just a little grenade jump. Just throw it right here and make your way up here and save your other frag grenade because we're going to do the same exact thing in the other section, which is identical to this, except for the enemies. The geometry is identical, though. I deployed my auto sentry there because why not? Figured it could do some damage for me. But once you go up there, you can see all the crawlers spawned, and there is a watcher up there as well. But it's all crawlers, one watcher, and once you kill enough crawlers, there will be an incineration cannon-wielding Promethean Knight. So that is not cool. You want to keep your eye on him, because obviously he could do the most damage to you the fastest. Basically, he could kill you instantly if he gets a shot on you. So this watcher is annoying. It would be much easier if it was just the knight and then the bunch of crawlers. But no, we got to throw a watcher in the mix. So just slowly, well not too slowly, take out these guys. There we go, come on. Over here. Yeah, oh, there we go. And watch out for that one as well. That guy is always just sitting there. And at this point, I luckily was able to take out the Watcher with the Incineration Cannon as well. But you want to Incineration Cannon the Knight, and that won't kill him. He's too powerful to be taken out with one Incineration Cannon, but just shoot him two or three times with the Light Rifle, and that will do him in. Pick up any Incineration Cannon ammo you find off that guy. You can jump down here. You probably, you're probably low on ammo at this point. So refill your ammo on that crate, and then make your way to the nav point, and we can jump over the gap here. And we're actually going to pretty much skip this entire section and head right to the third section. So jump. Kill the crawlers. There's only two here. There's a knight in the distance, but we're just going to ignore him. Jump up here. There's incineration cannon ammo right there where I just touched. You could actually grab it through the back of the uh, crate. And there was light rifle ammo on the other side, which I grabbed as well. Incinerate that guy right as you jump across. And then there's going to be some crawlers and a knight over there. You could try to ignore them like I'm doing here. It works. Even though I didn't have full shield, the grenade jump did not kill me. Obviously, you don't want to be too low on shield or it will kill you, but... Uh, just jump up here and run here immediately. This knight will spawn, and this knight will spawn. Well, they all spawn, but those two you can take out quickly with the old school assassination. Don't go into the new animated cool looking one because obviously that will take more time and you won't be able to get that second knight before he notices you. Then we're going to incineration cannon all of the remaining knights. There will be an incineration cannon one that comes up when there's only like one or two knights remaining. Looks like he's right there, and you can see he didn't die right away. You had to shoot him once in the face. But uh, by killing him, not last, we have enough ammo to kill that guy. Well, I guess we uh, we could have killed him in any order. But anyway, insert Cortana into the thing again. And she will divide up again. There's a bunch of Cortanas. It's like the unyielding Hierophant. Anybody? First strike third Halo novel in between Halo 1 and 2. Yeah, she split off a bunch of copies of herself there too. But anyway, you got this nice little cutscene. Like, in-game cutscene. It's not really a cutscene. And, oh god. Cortana 
got messed up. Not cool. Don't worry. We'll get her back in Halo 5. Maybe. I hope. But just go over here. You should have enough incineration cannon ammo left to take out the remaining three knights over here. One spawns right there. Just shoot them right away. That guy dies in one hit, but the two up here are the heavier types where they take more than just that one hit. So, especially if you don't hit them like that at all. That's why I'm a pro. That's why I have a YouTube channel. It's because I can miss shots like that. I'm that good. Uh, so that first one, that second one rather, I, uh, I shot and I apparently pushed them off the edge of the map because that should not have killed them. So apparently I just knocked them off the map, which is fine. And that third one you see I shot and hit him. And uh, I had to shoot him a little bit with the light rifle to finish him off. But it's pretty easy with that incineration cannon helping you out. This part I just sped up because it's really easy. Just spam the left trigger. It said for me to hold the right trigger to fire my machine gun turret. Which is not the right uh, thing it should be telling me to do. Uh, that's a glitch right there. And then you crawl forward. Again this is sped up because it's very easy. It's really hard to mess it up. You could mess it up though. I... I waited to see what happened if you didn't hit the right trigger here, and you just lose. But it resets you to the last checkpoint, obviously. But just hit the right trigger, and it will send you to this last cutscene. One of many last cutscenes. But that's it, guys. The last installment of this You're Joking achievement. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion, and I will see you later for more achievements.